Today on Dylan Talks Down, we're gonna take this cheap eBay neck for our clear acrylic strat project and make it amazing. So we're, this is part two of our build the acrylic LED Strat up into a cool guitar. It's the cheapest one I bought on eBay, so could find on eBay. So we're gonna do some mods to it today. Uh, the neck portion, we're focusing on the neck today. So I'm gonna show you a couple things. We're gonna put some clues and tuners on it. We're gonna do a level and crown on the fretboard. And I'm gonna show you a cool new tool, the Z file. Uh, that I just got and I used on this and I think it's pretty awesome and we're gonna put some finish on the neck all that kind of stuff so let's just dive right into it now the last time we did fret work it was just kind of spot checking but I think we're gonna have to pretty much touch just about everything on this and we left out a couple of little things that we will do that we did on the last one when you're doing a spot check that we'll we'll do kind of unchecking the whole thing so first of all what we want to do is See how flat the neck is and flatten it the rest of the way. Looks like we need to loosen the truss rod a little bit. So when you're doing this, uh, we want the neck to be 100% flat so that the frets will be flat when we're done. So when we're doing this, if there's a hump in the middle, we want to loosen the truss rod. So righty tighty lefty loosey, we want to loosen the truss rod and that will bring the middle down. So let's do that first. Take your time getting this part right. I don't know how it happened, but I got it right the first time. So then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fret rocker and we are going to go through and we're gonna make sure that all these frets are flat. And that one is not. I forgot my Sharpie. I need to grab a Sharpie. All right, and the one of the things I, I kind of forgot to talk about last time is, while we're using this, we wanna rock her across here. I like to do it in three zones. So the bottom, the middle, and the top. This fret is high. I'm gonna take a plastic screwdriver. The plastic butt end of a screwdriver and just make sure that did not fix it. So, we're gonna go ahead and mark that part of that fret. And keep going. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go ahead and mark all of the frets on both sides of my previous marks, which basically on this guitar is gonna be pretty much the whole thing. I don't know if you can see this in the video or not, but we got these little skips where we can see high spots and then a low spot, then a high spot, then a low spot. Mm. 
time to crown it. Okay, so when we're looking at a fret crowning file, this is what we're looking at. Um, this is the, the common one. So basically the pur purpose of this is, after you level the frets, then you run this over the top of the fret long ways, and it takes material off the edges of the fret, but not the middle, so that you have a nice sharp peak to the top of your fret, so that your when you fret your note, it has a good attack to it. You know, it doesn't have any buzzes, it's not flat, the fret's not flat on the top. Because as you can imagine, after we just hit this with the sanding beam, we've got a flat spot on the top of all of our frets. So this re-crowns or re-gives us that nice peak on the top. The trick with these typical ones is, there's different sizes for different frets. And, well, th there is, there's just a bunch of different sizes. Now the Z file is pretty cool because you see how it's in the shape of a Z from one side to the next, and it only cuts on one side. You flip it over, it cuts on the other side. So the cool part about this fret file is, is that this one side is, serves as a guide when we run it along the one side of the fret. It keeps you in the right spot no matter the fret size, and it gives you that top peak no matter what the fret size is because of just the way it it sits on top of there. So you run it one way for one side, then you run it the other way for the other side. It's really kind of cool. So I'm not gonna lie, your uh, just conventional cheap fret file you can probably get for 15 or $20 on Amazon. I'll leave a link to these below because this is what most people will end up using for a crowning file. I think this thing cost me about $120 because everything from friggin sumac is expensive, but I'll leave a link to this below because I'm gonna tell you right now This is this is not the first time I used it. I got to thank Chris from Texas Toast Guitars for showing me this uh, I used it on the less ply when I did the fretwork on the less ply when I was doing that there and it took me 30 minutes to crown an entire fretboard. I could not believe it this thing same thing um it just saves so much time. It's fast, it saves time, and you only need one for multiple sizes of frets. So I think that's really cool. It'll pay for itself the first time you use it if you do more than one fretboard. That's all I'm gonna say. So the, the beauty of the Z file, and I'm gonna go ahead and tape up the neck and do this, but the beauty of the Z file is you lay this on the center of the fret, and you make a couple passes, and it takes care of one side. Then you take the other side. And your fret is crowned. Perfectly in the center. Every time. And that's it. Let me go ahead and tape this up and get this done. Sorry about the lack of continuity there, but we had the RV park mowing the lawn, so I didn't want to run the camera during that time period. So now we're going to do is take this finish down to a matte finish with some 600, 
we've already got the fret ends all cleaned up. We've got the frets looking pretty nice. And this client likes a super flat finish. He said, I don't care if you burn through the finish. You know me, I don't want any gloss. I said, yes, sir. So that's what we're doing. It's kind of weird to have a mahogany neck on a strap, but it's also kind of cool. Oh, I popped the nut out of there too. The idea here is just to do this evenly so that it looks nice. Find a cool spot to cut it off. Right here maybe. Don't go too nuts. Burn through the finish and have a weird spot. Just keep going until it looks nice and even. Clean it up right around the edges. I just want it to look like it was done on purpose and not just sand it. So I'm trying to clean up this nice edge right here. There, now at least the satin finish on the neck looks nice. Whew, feels good too. All right, now I guess we need to ream out these holes for the proper tuner sizes. And uh, probably before we do that, we'll go ahead and get a nut fit to it. But the frets are nice. Everything looks awesome. We've got an actual nice neck now. Out of the cheapy neck that was the start of this here project. I guess next thing will be to do to get the nut fit and get the uh, tuners onto it. I'm waiting on a nut to come in because I don't have one in stock. I have one, but it's the wrong, it's not a flat bottom. So we'll sort that out. So my next thing is going to be putting on these Klusen Contemporary Diecast Locking Tuners. I'm a fan of Klusen. I, I like their stuff. Not sponsored, none of that stuff, but I've used uh, their stuff in my custom builds for a long time. And uh, I, I just, I'm really a fan of them. So these tuners are a little on the heavy side. But remember, we're dealing with an acrylic guitar, so <laughs> I guess that's okay. These are 19 to 1 tuners uh, locking, So, and we have the 10 millimeter style holes here, or yeah, 10 millimeter holes, which are the contemporary style. So there's two diameters of tuner. See how the top is skinny? That top part uh, is what, 8.8 .8 millimeters or something like that? That goes, that's like your vintage style tuner. Um, that'll have a smaller hole. So that's gonna be like your old school H style. They call it an H style mount. This is going to be like your four o'clock hole contemporary style mount. So that's what we've got on this guitar. So we'll drop that baby in. And uh, yeah, cool. Here's all of our stuff. And let's pop them on there. Bam. Well, that was pretty easy. Drop those babies right in there, tighten them all up. And uh, now we have Klusen 19 to 1 gold plated locking tuners. And uh, this is gonna be killer. So I'll grab the nut, get that thing here. And we'll plop that in. Uh, we'll probably put that in a vlog. That'll go in one of our Friday vlogs, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, I guess now what we need to do we're waiting on the custom pit guard for it because it's a custom shape, so I'm having it cut um, at WD. And then once that happens, we'll plop some new pickups in this thing and some new electronics. Uh, so probably in the next video, you're gonna see us make the pickups 
and do electronic selection for this build. So I think that'll be the coolest part. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Make sure you check out our Thursday live video, our Friday vlogs that come out. Uh, if you have any questions about this build, put it in the comments and I'll try to get to it. I think it's gonna be a pretty fun one. Um, and I'll leave links to everything that I used in this video down below. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you soon.